<laughs> hey, voiceover Josiah back at it again because I forgot to record an intro. Today was bench and squat, both at sixes. Bench, I did 235 for a six, and then back off sets at 215 for a set of four at a six, and then 195 is 190 is 92% of 215. Pause squats, I did 275 because that also had to be at a six and I wasn't sure where my strength was at for my squat, especially with the pause variant. So I took 25 pounds off of my PR for squat currently and put that into an RPE calculator and I got 275. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you guys at the end. Okay, as of recording this, I'm sorry, the, the car's on, but I have to, I have to drive, so. How, how bad is it when it's, oh my gosh, you guys can't see anything. Anyways, I have not finished editing my day one, but my day two was today. I took a break on Wednesday because I was on like five hours of sleep, four and a half, and it was fine, I guess. I just took a nap and I rested. I took a nap. I took like a four hour nap, so it was horrible. But day two went better today. I fixed a lot of my bench that was annoying me. So my grip issues, my leg drive, my coach has really been good for day two. Day one, I'm gonna put that in because I, I, I don't know. I, I like to show my concerns because genuinely, am I coachable or am I not coachable? right like do i have a coachable spirit am i willing to drop my ego to accept what my coach is telling me and is that something that i want to continue to do in the near future 
do I want to continue to get coached or do I just want to take this month for free as he's giving me this month for free? Do I want to continue to take this month and take everything out of it and dissect it and then coach myself, right? So that's something that I need to figure out because if I don't figure that out, then I'm not going to get the most out of coaching if I continue. With that being said, my coach showed me a lot of stuff today. My squat shelf needs to be worked on. I think I'm just very loose whenever I squat. You'll see the four for six. My depth is really good though, as it continues to be, as I'm goaded with my depth. I always make sure that my depth is good. I've always made sure to like keep my hips open, keep my hips continuously strong. However, my shelf is really bad. So I need to just pack and compact it down. I use a tighter belt when I squat and he told me not to do that for reasons because it was very tight when I was squatting. I do like my belt a little bit tight, but it was too tight. So I'm going to deadlift and squat at the same hole for the SBD belt. Bench went well, my single was good. I just need to find my two and a halfs because I need to start bringing those to the gym. I don't know where the hell they are. They might be in my trunk. They might be in the garage. I need to find them because if I don't have two and a halfs, I can't do most of the bench volume if I'm only going up in 10 pound increments instead of five. Very aggravating that 24 does not have 10 pound, uh, two and a halfs. I don't know what happened to them. I think people just started snatching them and yanking them and taking them out because I, I don't know. They just, they just, I, there's no, there's no more anymore. Recomp is going really well as well. I'm trying to just up my protein, continue to do cardio. I did 20 minutes today. I did 25 minutes on Monday, on Tuesday. Monday, I just landed. So I didn't go to small group and I didn't work out. I was on like two hours of sleep. So my sleep schedule has been really off. I've also been playing Persona 3 a lot. So I need to stop doing that. I just thought I'd do like a quick recap afterwards. I'll probably still continue to just post raw footage. I didn't have my iPhone 7 charged today, so slightly worse quality. I think it's 1920 by 1440. Some weird thing like that, or it's like 1280 by 1080. I don't know. It's, it's a weird, it's a weird resolution where it's like not good. But I hope you guys still enjoy the footage. I'm going to edit day one and day two. I promise you guys. I promise you guys. I didn't record my last two squat sets because I was tired and I wanted to move on with the workout. Afterwards, I did Bulgarians. I did seated leg curls. And then I did some calves for the first time in probably four years, three years, two years. I don't know. I don't know as long as, how long it's been since I've done calves. But I am arriving home and I want to eat, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's going to be a shorter one, but I know you guys like shorter ones rather than me yapping. I did a lot for my bench, fixed my leg drive, fixed my sets. You could see, like, the more I started to understand leg drive, the better it started becoming. Oh, look, there's light! The better it started becoming. I thought leg drive was just me popping my hips up and then pushing the bar behind me and like making it a j whatever but it's not it's keeping your legs tight throughout the entire set keeping them flexed keeping them as like a stable group of muscles when i'm benching that's what's considered leg drive and i need to stop sinking the bar into my chest because again i'm losing out on one to two inches of range of motion Making it harder, just making it harder for myself. If it's heavier weight, my coach did tell me that I can start sinking again. But for sets and sub maximal weight, like sub 90%, he said to t shirt to touch it. So just like, you know, like a little bit of touch, touch, and then go. Instead of sinking it, just making it light. We'll see how it goes. I might tell him, yo, I fucking hate this. I don't want to do this. There are people who sink it and bench a lot. I don't want to do this. And he'll probably oblige or whatever. Tomorrow's bodybuilding, so I'm probably not going to record it. I'm just going to record my powerlifting shit because I feel like it. Maybe, we'll see. Maybe maybe I'll record some, some, some stuff. But I'm doing chest and 
shoulders and tries. I might just do shoulders and tries because my chest has already gotten a lot of stimulus from the past three days of benching. Benching the two out of the three days that I've started this program with my coach. I don't think I'm going to bench again. I might do some dumbbell bench. I might do some hex press. But my chest is already kind of sore, unfortunately. The long pauses were really, really good for chest stimulus. I'm just excited. I'm just excited. I have a bottle of champagne in my car, and I was going to celebrate. I heard back from Cal State Florida today, and they rejected me. So that bottle of champagne is remaining unopened. <laughs> it's just going to be there until something crazy happens. If I get into Long Beach, I'll open it. But holy shit, I got rejected from the, my alumni, and I'm upset. But it is what it is. I uh, Maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's a sign from God telling me, hey, go somewhere else. I have so much more planned for you, you know? My one, my one religious thing for the video. All right. I, I'm done yapping. I need to eat. I'll, I'll see you guys later. Bye.